Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, the arena of the supernatural, where supernatural is natural. Our vision is to bring Christ's abundant life, knowledge, and hope to Inanda, then to the whole world, in the form of preaching, teaching, holistic gospel, healing, deliverance, counseling, training, and discipleship. Here we go. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, Jesus is Lord. That single belief calls us together as a community and sends us into our world with hope and purpose. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, your past will never define your future. There is always redemption, which means there is always a brighter day. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we do not think that we are better than any other church out there. We are just doing our best to become our best. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we want you to believe in God, but also we want you to know that God believes in you. We are not against any people who do not attend church anywhere. Instead, we pursue them with love, the very same love that is pursuing us. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are committed to serve God and people. We take ownership and account for our decisions, answerable or accountable as for something within one's power. We do what we say we will do. We are learning to serve God with all our hearts and we are learning to worship Him with all our lives. And if you are looking for the perfect church, we are not it. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will make mistakes, but we will choose to grow from them. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we are part of a global community that is knit together by the resurrection of Jesus. And by the way, at Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we believe that really happened too. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, we will engage with people who are in real need because we are the hands and feet of Christ. And finally, we need you to hear this loud and clear. At Mount Zion Carnation Ministries, it's not our church at all, but it is His and we live and move and breathe in His church for His glory and fame and not for ours. So there's the invitation. You are invited to jump in with your whole heart at your own pace and experience the life that awaits you in Christ. Friends, this is going to be good. Welcome to Mount Zion Carnation Ministries from Dr. Swanem Somi and Tabisilam Somi. Let me tell you the truth. Where Jesus visits, likewise the devil visits. When Jesus comes daily, likewise the devil will visit you. If it's the angels, yet it will be the devil who will visit you. But if it's Jesus, it, is, it will be the devil who will visit you also. As as our prophet Jesus, Jesus, they will tell you the cost of seeing Jesus. Likewise, Paul had the thorn in the flesh. The more revelation. Then there is something that needs to remind you that you are a human being. Let me continue with my story. When the pride me, do you know what I used to do? When you ask people to lay hands over them, we will stand in front and I will allow my brothers to pray for people first. <laughs> and I will put my hand in the pocket because this man is so anointed. He doesn't even face the demons. And I will walk like the anointed one. 
They will start on the other side, but I'll start on the other side. And I will look a person on the other side. And they will so dizzy and fall. And I will go to the second one. And I will blow. And the person will just fall. And those people who are sitting down, they can see a man of God who is so anointing. And those here, push people, but I didn't touch them. I look at them in the eyes. When I count to the other one, I will count three times. You will come out of here. I would say one. Two. Give a spirit. When I say three, the demon will come out. Those who have been laid hands, they will come in front so that I will lay hand over them. Yet I felt good from within. I was demonstrating I walk with it. I'm carrying it. Sometimes I will see the dove being released from the house. And I will know that the power of God will move. And I will tell them that I've seen God releasing the Holy Spirit. Who are the people who are the Holy Spirit? Holy Spirit, when you want him, raise your hand. Come here in front. If I were you, all of you was going to raise hands. And they came in front. And the Holy Spirit will touch them. Holy Spirit, touch them. Get a And I will blow. Hey, And people will hear it, my Lord. Oh, my Jesus. I didn't say anything wrong. I saw the confidence that I had. I can feel the Father moving. Until one day, do not approach a person you need to know your relationship with that person. Do not say like that. Don't tell him like that. Because it might be a little bit But if you just tell him like that, he would remove you from his league. When I was praying one day, I saw a glow. When I saw the glow, when I came Sometimes I saw the glow, when I saw the glow, when I saw the glow, when I saw the glow, I saw the glow, I knew that I was going to another level. When I was trying to approach the glow, and there was a roadblock, and the peacock just came, and it blocked my way. When I was trying to get cross, it will block my way. And I prayed, I said, in the name of Jesus, I bind and I destroy and I curse you, nothing happened. It only my time that was Jesus And I said, Jesus, please take out this thing. thing. It is hindering me he said, do you know what the peacock means? I said, no, I don't know. He said, there is a pride between me and you. That is divine You cannot come to this glory until you deal with this pride. It was like my heart was breaking. I knelt down and I cried. I felt how painful it was to lose God when you see the glory but you cannot because this peacock the peacock will hinder you something that like the devil to fall from heaven the pride on that day when I was crying and repenting 
my heart was so touched. After that, I felt like it was my day when I was born. And I saw that the pride cost everything that you had. In other words, the pride was standing between me and God. What does that mean? That means pride is a demon. That means I taking out the demon. I had a demon of pride. It's as if this demon is holy. But I had a demon. It was in my flesh because I was the one who was puffed up. I was walking tall. I will allow other pastors to go in front. Then I will come at the end as a bulldozer. And I will come at the end. And I used to do things happening. But doing it in the name of pride. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I had pride. I did it boastfully. On that day, I understood. And I checked on the Bible on how can I help myself from this pride. And, and the Holy Spirit told me that this, the fruit of the Spirit deals with the pride. From that day, I got the remedy. I got the remedy. Do you hear about the It enters easily. It enters easily. Then it will possess you. What is pride? It is the demon. As anointed and holy as I am, the demon of pride can enter me. It enters. It's only guide you when you grow and, grow and this will grow together with you <laughs> and this will show <laughs> up it is not visible when <laughs> it enters because it know each other with confidence <laughs> you won't see it even those who can see it won't confront you and say you are proud so we confident it shows itself like now, confidence. You cannot tell people that they are puffed up. Who are you who can scale people and say this is the pride and this now, is confidence? In other words, in the other it's it's in, 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 the enemy can possess anyone. That is why your heart is to pure. That is why you need to be forgiven. Whether they, they, forgave they forgave or not, but you need to forgive them. So the is to the time that you are living in, as I said, that the world is without, keep your heart pure. Forgive. Be quick to forgive. Let not the sun go down angry. Do not let 24 hours pass when you are angry. Because that means there is a stronghold that is being built that you cannot destroy it. Others, they keep grudges within and them and they don't know how. We are about to pray. The earth would wear out like a garment. But God has given us victory. In the next week, we will look at it. That as the earth were out, what is it that God has given us to live in it, having abundance in it, without, yet become victorious? living in it, wearing out, but living in it glory. Because the lesser glory will be greater. Do you hear me? It will be greater.
let us all stand. My Jesus. Let us say these words, Lord Jesus. I humble myself before you today. You have spoken well. And advise me very well. Everything that has been said. Let it happen to me. I permit your will to be done. And your plan can never be hindered. Let it be unto me as your will. Today, I choose to stand with you. I choose to move with you. I choose to live with you. I choose to listen to you. My old church. As from today, where you lead me, I will follow. I believe in you. My trust is in you. My power is in you. And my prosperity is in you. In the name of Jesus, I humble myself. I humble myself. Be lifted up so that the world would know you and worship you from today till forever. Amen. Amen. I want each and every one of us to pray according to your word. You know what God has said into your heart. As you were listening to the sermon, there's something that he bestowed in your heart that you need to respond to it. There are things that he has enlightened so that you will understand. Your kingdom come your will be done on it as it is in heaven. Your kingdom come, your will be done on it as it is in heaven. Your will be 